Hello, and welcome to another Imagine It Tech Tip. In this video, I will show an, a simple workflow on how to accurately get surface areas. First, from a singular surface elevation, extracting contours to show areas of even or odd elevations. And second, the area of an intersecting tin surfaces using the minimum distance command. Let's jump right into Civil 3D. In this drawing, I have already a couple surfaces created here. Let's focus our attention on this green surface as you see it in 2D and 3D. What I would like to do here is extract uh, a contour to estimate the ele elevation of that area. I will select the surface and using the contextual ribbon, I will use the option to extract from surface. In this case, I would like to uh, extract objects from the surface. Now, uh, as I start looking at this, the Civil 3D uh, object over here, it will pull all the elements that are currently visible. I don't want to extract a border, I don't want to extract a major contour, I don't want to extract a user contour, and I actually don't want to extract all of the major contours. I will use the option to select from drawing. As I do that, it should give me then the, the option to select that contour from the screen. As I pick it, it'll find the one, I can hit OK, and what I end up with is a contour that is a polyline. You can see it in 3D as well. From here, of course, I can go to my simple AutoCAD properties and pull the elevation from that object. There's the elevation and there's the area that estimates. Now, if you would like to pull perhaps some odd contour elevation, let's go over here and pull in maybe the elevation of 61.5, maybe a pond elevation area that you're trying to estimate here. And what we're gonna do here is use what's called a user contour. So first thing I'm gonna make sure here is that under my style for this particular surface, is that I have the user contour enabled. And you can see here it is showing. So what I can do here for this particular surface is go to the properties of it. And I'm gonna go here to my surface properties and find that particular user elevation as an analysis. I'm gonna go down here to my uh, user defined contours. I will set it to one and it pulls the elevation of an even 62. Let's go here into 60.25 or whatever elevation I want, want to call here. I can actually call for several contours at once, but I'm just gonna pull that one elevation there, hit okay. And you can see it pop in there for me. Now, again, the same process as before, what I would like to do here is extract from the surface. Again, extracting an object. And in this case, from this surface, I know I only have one contour that is a user contour, so I'm just gonna execute the command as is. As I hit OK, if you blink, you'll miss it. You actually see it in 3D over here, highlighted as yellow now. And as I pick it on the screen, again, I get that contour elevation. Once again, I can go to my properties tool palette and get information from that extracted one contour, which is a polyline that I can look at. Now, what I also have in this drawing is uh, these two mounds over here, this blue surface. And uh, what I have is a uh, what I'm calling here a blade surface. As I enable its visibility here, uh, the idea here is that I'm going after a, um, a sloped area, not an even area. So as that plane gets sliced, that's what I would like to see where it intersects my blade or cutting plane here onto the two surfaces that I have there. So that's not an even contour. As you can see here, my surface is sloping at 1%. So what I'm gonna do here is something a little bit different, guys. What I'm gonna do is engage a command. In this case, I will start with my slicing or slope surface. And what I would like to do is run an analysis, a minimum distance between surfaces. As I execute this, I will select my first surface. I will select the secondary surface. And if you blink, you missed it. Now it gives me the option to zoom to those points, yes or no, of where that extraction, uh, where that extraction happened. The minimum distance is zero between the two points. And I'm just gonna go here and say no to this option. and um, draw it as a polyline and if you blink you missed it put it on this uh, current layer this uh, magenta layer this uh, catchment here and you can see how that contour actually almost starts right on the surface and you can see how it moves around that contour so this is how i extracted that slice there and i have that that uh, element being shown off for me there i think it's quite powerful the ways of that we can extract these elevations for volume purposes or for area purposes thank you for watching Make sure to visit our website for more Autodesk-related content and engineering design.